Fuck, it is Saturday night at what time? 11.30? Quarter to 12. It's quarter to 12, Saturday night. I have done nothing this weekend worth picking up the camera over. Boys came over and chilled on Friday night. I mean, the Iceman had a fucking meeting tonight. And now, it's pitch black. You got a light? A little bit. A little light. Well, now we're fucking playing the game where all that wood that I finally got two weeks ago... <laughs> I'm going to get it out of the truck, only because I have to use the truck in the morning. Hold that light on your face. <laughs> that looks creepy, bud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, even without it, it looks creepy, bud. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> you look right. like one of those scholastic... Uh, remember when you were in grade school and scholastic came there with the books? Yeah, and then the, they had that one <laughs> horror book. I can't remember the name of it. It's pretty popular. I'll try to remember to get the I'm name of it. I'm going to say Goosebumps? No, not Goosebumps. Oh, okay. It was something different. It was all black... Um, I don't know. Animation in the book. There was no... It wasn't Goosebumps. I never read any Goosebumps. No, me either. No? I didn't read a lot in school. I read a lot when I got out of school, but I didn't read a lot in school. All right. I got to get this wood unloaded, and then I got to go do some shit. Will you help me? I'll help, bud. All right. That's good, bud. Right there. Yeah, your red light, I mean, it's going to be good for when we're shooting the movies, but it doesn't help too much right now, does it, bud? No, it doesn't. Is that the cargo light? Nope. That one? Nope. This one? There you go. Yeah, look at all this wood. Holy shit, bud. I know, dude, but you know what? Now I don't have to fucking worry about, about being not level at the gathering next year. <laughs> I got wood a big time. Yeah, I think okay? you got plenty now. I'm pretty fucking out of shape, bud. <laughs> Having a little bit of labored breathing, are you? Breathing intensifies. Yeah, actually, my back kind of hurts a little bit. Yeah, but you're old as fuck. I yeah. still got my youth, bud. <laughs> Much longer, bud. It doesn't last. <laughs> well, we got the wood out of the truck, didn't we? Yeah, we fucking. It didn't take road. too long. I'll sweep it out tomorrow, and then we'll move that couch, like we were talking about. Yeah. I haven't That's done jack. What this. have you done all weekend? Well, I built a fucking little cat house thing. That's <laughs> what I did today. Yeah. <laughs> we hung out on Friday night, but there was nothing worth yeah, picking the camera up for. Last night, we're just sitting around. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting it's only Saturday, even though I said it was Saturday like a minute ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get it together you one day, man. <laughs> what else have you been doing this weekend? That's it, bud. I was here built last a cat night, house on built Friday. A cat house today. And now we got to go to Tilbury and move a couch tomorrow. Sunday. Shoot the show. The show's uh. The show's, yeah. I'm working on getting those political guests on the show, man. I don't know if it's gonna happen on the next episode of Positive Vibes or not, but. Probably not. Well, I don't know, man. He said he might try to get out. I got well, a hold of another guy. And now they want yeah. they want to have a debate. That would be kind of neat. A political debate. Yeah. Like well, maybe that. not necessarily a debate per se, but they want to have a conversation a about politics. And they'll definitely be I, more I have educated a than that us. They do have opposing views on politics, the two of them. Just knowing Ross and knowing. Well, I told Ross that uh, um, Pooner had the fucking. Uh, an idea about why he should vote for Harper, <laughs> and he wants, and I, and I'm like, you know, I don't know anything about politics, but I know that's pretty not popular opinion to want to make. Yeah, right now it's not. No, he's Harper, he's lost, the uh, next prime minister of Canada, or the is, prime well, minister is, again, right? He, yeah, thank another you. term. I was worried for a second there, but yeah, no, uh, we don't want him back. Well, I've never wanted him in, but no, his his popularity has dropped, I guess. I haven't paid a lot of attention this round. I usually do, but... You know, being off the grid of no satellite, no cable... No I don't even propaganda. Watch, I don't even watch off aerial TV. I just watch everything off the internet now, so I don't see any of the news and shit. I don't have to worry about it. It doesn't get shoved down my throat. That's like the first time I've heard you sound not old. <laughs> <laughs> it's your influence bud <laughs> alright bud I got a bunch of other shit that I gotta do so yeah. I'm gonna fucking stop here and we'll get together tomorrow yeah I think so bud these mosquitoes are fucking vultures oh, fucking getting bad again okay you just spot me backing out though so I don't smash the truck <laughs> you don't wanna hit the pole no or the camper or the camper yeah no problem <laughs> bud alright thanks bud
Okay, so it's Sunday, and we're going to move a couch, and I'm like, oh, let me lock the door before we turn the fucking camera on, and we'll start. But no, this is the start. Every fucking time I want to leave my house, man, it's I have to lock the front door. I can't use the key because the key is fucking, like, dicked. When you lock the door and you pull it out, the key's all, like, super Help. tight in the lock. It's I'm only worried that sometimes opening. it's not going to unlock one time. Uh, I haven't had a problem yet with it not unlocking, but locking it fucks with me. So every time I have to lock the door, i got to explain it to Ice. Locking the door is fine, because <laughs> it has nothing to do with unlocking it. You have to turn the knob like you're opening the door toward the back of the house. And then turn the lock. Like, it's really fucking hard, man. Like, the pins are fucking broken. Now it's locked. Holy shit. <laughs> it's like it's super fucked. That's bad. And I put a brand new, was it with you? Maybe it was with Jeff. Of course. Was it with no, you? No, I, I put, well, we put yeah, we put one, one on. on. And, and then the key was super fucked, and yeah. the fucking thing kept sliding all in the fucking <laughs> That's right, I remember hole, that, yeah. And it was like, so no we put good. The old one back on. Because this was going to go on Ash's door, wasn't it? Something like that. Yeah, he was yeah. going to use that one. And I'm like, ah, I hate Sorry, this bud, I need it back. Every <laughs> fucking time. Just man. to leave. Yeah. <laughs> This is something else for slow fucking vlog footage. We haven't picked the camera up since Sunday morning. Yeah, man. no kidding. Anyway, look, I went and I like the dealership that I bought the truck at. The guys there are cool, so I like to go and like talk to them sometimes. Yeah. And I went and showed them all the new shit on the truck for the first time, you know? And he told me that I gotta get alcohol and wipe this shit off. Look at this. Alcohol? Yeah. He said, just get a little bit of alcohol and wipe all this white overspray shit off. Oh, is that what that is? Overspray? I thought uh, it was not, stock like, it's not, or Maybe something. overspray is the wrong term, but it's like the shit, the oil coating that they sprayed on the truck when they sprayed the... When they color matched yeah. the bumper, they sprayed this oil so that paint wouldn't get on the rest of the truck. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a good idea. I didn't know they did that. Right? And then, they, and then the guy at the dealership told me to get like some alcohol and some swabs and just to wipe off all the little white spots. Yeah. Slow vlogs. <laughs> Get the couch on. Ice. Hey. What are you doing, oh, bud? There he is, looking for kittens. Looking for kittens. Yeah, there's one right there hiding. Oh, there he comes. That's a cool looking cat. If he was friendly, I'd take it home. I love little kittens. Oh, there's now. two kittens. And there's a gray one, too. Oh, my goodness, right now. I love cats. You hate dogs. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but I also love cats. Especially dogs that st stick their noses up your shorts. Oh, God. <laughs> that was fucking That hilarious. was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so I go in this place to get the couch. And uh, they got a nice... What is it, a husky? Yeah. They got like a nice looking little husky dog. But then the fucking dog like jams its nose right up my shorts, its cold nose touches my balls, I'm trying to be polite, I just shush it away, okay? And then fucking, like 10 seconds later, he rams his nose into my asshole. I'm like, you gotta get your fucking dog away from me now. Like, you're laughing, but I'm just so not I found funny. it funny. <laughs> because I like dogs. I don't like <laughs> when that. they fucking no, touch your like balls with their face? <laughs> That's annoying, but still, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, 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 it happen to you, bud. It smells like fucking Lake Erie, bud, with the dead fish flow. Yeah, dead. It smells like death. Yeah, it smells like death. Like exactly. fucking roadkill. I don't think that's it beans, bud. It smells like rotten garbage. I don't, why do I keep smelling Yeah, I don't know. Just, <laughs> yeah, I can only handle one, man. I want to try and fucking... I downloaded an app. Well, I downloaded Google Translate where you can use the picture to try and... But it wouldn't give me any fucking uh, translations. Oh, no? Oh, it wouldn't work. Oh, Scott's so puking his face again, off. I want to know what type of ingredients have in here. I want to know what it says, too. Well, I know there's 400 million. Probably says stupid English so people. Oh, stupid yeah. fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stupid English people eat this. They think we enjoy it. <laughs> there's a whole story on the side about it. In Chinese? Uh, yeah. China, China. They probably just don't eat it like that, do they? Uh, well, I think that they, they like, like take a little piece some... of it and spread it on something. Why do they put English, China, time-honored brand, and an English letter S... 
And English numbers. Well, I don't know. I guess numbers are the same, right? Are they? No, I guess no. Chinese. Numbers are the same. They're all upside are down. Are they the same? Slanted. The numbers? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, that's the only English on the whole freaking thing. So yeah. You know Honored what? Chinese brand. I think you're right. It says on there, stupid English people. Oh man, we are pretty stupid. Eat our rotting stuff. Yeah. <laughs> The thing is that we either pick the worst looking one or the best looking one, right? That's right. I know, right? <laughs> it says on the bottle it says on the bottle something about how it's like enjoyed right out of the bottle. It's got a pungent flavor, uh, it says. A slightly saltish and pungent in taste. Considered to be a gourmet's delight by local fisher folk. Yep. <laughs> by the fisher folk. What else does it say? Uh let's see here. Using Using only the choicest ingredients, it's carefully prepared to retain its unique taste. So now we're at unique straight taste. from the bottle. The chinchilla can be served straight from the bottle as a sauce or with rice by adding slices of onions, chili, lime for a truly appetizing meal. Seafood, man. That salty fish with some lime probably yeah, sounds pretty maybe. good. Uh, you but can't, it's drinking like it. pop top too, drinking right? It's so you can't like reseal it. Well, you got this. Oh. Am I the only one? I <laughs> no, no, there was one other person that did point it out. Was there? There one person, I can't remember I who. I think it might have been Katie. One person did point out that it had the top, and then another person came and asked why, how, what is this thing for? Yeah. And I was like, oh, it's for oh, the yeah, top, well, stupid. Like little... <laughs> <laughs> for sure yeah. there's a little shrimp in there. Yeah, it's yeah. not blended. It's not shredded. They're little full-size baby shrimp. shrimps. A dirty amount of fucking liquid on the top. I know, it's so scary, man. <laughs> but I don't see a lot of like salt settled at the bottom. So I that's like. Take a look at this thing. one. This one looks pretty white at the bottom. Oh, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess. Let's see. Well, I'm kind of fucking with it, but yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah. Look, when you invert it, the water doesn't even rise to the top. It's a fucking <laughs> sludge. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, have, we'll have the love and juice to wash it down. Fuck. I don't think I like it. <laughs> <laughs> You're the ones that picked them. No, no, no. I no, picked no, them. The I picked them. <laughs> hey, what? Suck my dick! <laughs> I found it. I didn't like that at all. Well, what'd you do? <laughs> Me? I just like... <laughs> do it again. <laughs> Does that bug you? <laughs> Stop. Stop. Oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> Can't really. Oh, man, that looks disgusting. Oh, oh I know. I don't want to do it, man. <laughs> Look at those fucking. Like, that's. Oh. oh Of the character? Yeah, yeah. All you can see is <laughs> all you can see is his dick. Yeah. What dick? It's all wrapped up in tights. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm going to the bathroom. Screw you guys. <laughs> all right, it's uh, 20 after nine in the morning. I just got up about 20 minutes ago. And uh, it's been a pretty slow weekend for vlogging. I didn't do too much stuff this weekend except everything that you've seen. Move the couch, move the wood, fucking talk about my truck. But now that I'm waking up, I'm kind of feeling a little bit hungry. And I don't cook and I'm super lazy. So McDonald's fucking breakfast it is. Oh man, I went to bed really late at like 2. And I thought I was going to get up around 6. And then fucking stay awake for a decent amount of time to get some sleep before work. But now I'm compromising sleep for, re I don't know, it's stupid. I got up at 6. I should have went back to bed around 2 or 3. Now I'm getting up at 9. I'm not going to go to bed until around like 4 or maybe even 5. And get just a couple hours of sleep. Just get a couple hours of sleep before I got to go to work. Oh man, the life of a fucking worker. This is a this is a reason why I don't fucking vlog on Mondays because there's never 
anything like I literally do virtually nothing on my weekdays it's I film on the weekends I've said it before I'll say it again this morning <coughs> excuse me I don't do anything through the week when I'm working I fucking I film on the weekends and then I edit through the week and when I'm not editing through the week I'm fucking playing video games or doing something else in not constructive with my time but uh, I have had discussions with the Iceman about, uh, oh, I should speed up a little bit. This asshole's riding my fucking ass like a prick. There we go. Um, what was I saying? Oh, me and the Iceman were talking about maybe developing a new show. I've always got ideas for new shows. It's just a matter of filming them and editing them. With positive vibes, we do that shit in one take. So there's not a lot of, like, scripting to the show, you know what I mean? We just set up the camera, sit down, turn them on, and talk for 20 minutes. And with Why Would You Do That? Well, I'll tell you, with Why Would You Do That this week, the stinky fucking curd whatever challenge, <coughs> excuse me, uh, we had to do that in two takes. You can only do Why Would You Do That? You can only do another take on Why Would You Do That? If you don't uh, fucking start eating first. Because once you start eating, the food is compromised. You can't start the challenge over again. You know what I'm saying? And that's just how that shit works. So anyway, I am almost at McDonald's. I've done a lot of fucking rambling into the camera for this week's vlog. I hope you guys don't mind so much about that because, you know... I'm not quite a superstar yet, eh? I'm working on it. I'm working on living in a, a, an exciting lifestyle every fucking day. But until then, I gotta work on, on doing it at least every weekend. Anyway, thanks for coming for the drive with me. Here we are at McDonald's. Bang, eh? McDonald's! What do you guys get for breakfast from McDonald's? I usually get a uh, bacon, I mean, uh, I get an egg and sausage McMuffin with a hash brown and an orange Fruitopia and usually an extra sandwich. But I don't get fucking cheese on my sandwiches, man. That shit is fucking gross. I hate it because you got to drive home with it and then the cheese like, excuse me, the cheese coagulates and gets fucking... Uh, like, it's like plastic. The cheese melts, and it's like fucking plastic, and I hate that shit. So I don't get cheese on my sandwiches. Watch out, bud. Careful. Anyway, I'm turning the camera off so I can make an order, and I don't know if I'm going to turn the camera on again for Monday. Actually, I am. There's something that I have to do for the vlog today that I've had uh, procrastinated. So there is going to be one more important part about this week's slow-ass vlog. So if you've stayed through what I've put up this week, please stay through until the end because the last scenes of this vlog are very important to me. And that's it. So I'll catch you guys in a few minutes. The weeds aren't that bad. No, they're not. I mean, <laughs> they, they're jungle. drooping. They're dying. Yeah. So it's actually a lot less weeds than the last time that yeah, I was out. You can see the go-karts. You can see the go-karts, <laughs> yeah, bud. Kinda. Kind of, yeah, I guess only kind of, eh? <laughs> anyway. You need like an industrial weed whacker. Oh my god, you can't even tell that the cat's fucking buried back here. Yeah, I'm going to pick all these weeds right now. Bass died on September 22nd, then it's Monday, whatever the it's day 20, is. The 20th of today? 21st today. It's the 21st tomorrow. today? So tomorrow's one year anniversary of Bass dying. I, I cried a lot. I it was remember. really sad. It was really, really sad. Oh, there's a frog in there. Is he there? Jumped. Yeah, he jumped inside. He's right there. Okay, I don't see him, but I think I seen the leaves moving. All right, I gotta clean this shit up and fucking make it good for the cat. It's the least I could do, right? Yeah, I guess. I got these gloves so that I don't fucking get pickers in my hands, but then they're like totally. Holes are open for pickers. Everywhere. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Whatever, it's better than nothing, right? Well, I hope so.
Oh, is a frog yet? Little frog? I don't see any right now. Probably hopped away. I'll have to pull some of these ones too. Hey, bass. Yeah. Do you miss him? Yeah, of course. He was a good cat, right? Yes. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> he was a good cat. He was also a little fucking asshole. Too. He sure was. <laughs> <laughs> he just always scratched at the door and. Well, I, I shouldn't step on it, right? And if he ever got out. Oh, he was got gone. out. AJ Rue. Scampers, did you see that video? Yeah. All the neck? Mm -hmm. Oh man. <laughs> AJ Rue, if you're watching this video, I feel so bad for Scampers, but I also feel real happy that she came back. But I also feel real bad that her neck was all fucked up. She got in a fight for sure. <laughs> I'll have to watch the video to uh, get the update on the vet, so I can't wait to hear that Scampers is okay. Bass is still here though. Yeah, yeah. He <laughs> <laughs> Such an ass. Oh man. He can't get away now. <laughs> I want to fill this in with something. Flowers? I, I want it to You have to wait catnip. till next year now. There's a lot of mosquitoes. <laughs> yeah, there is. I know. I want to grow catnip in this so that all the feral cats can come and get eat high catnip, at bass get expense. <laughs> Tent here for them. That's Bad a great pillows. idea. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mosquitoes trying to bite my hands. Are they on uh, your hands? One of them did. You're stirring them all up. I know. Taking away their habitat. <laughs> oh my god. They're like making themselves a part of your house now. The weeds? Yes. Oh, nice big stick back there. Well, this is good. Not like this is all This is good. It's not good. It's a lot. You know, I miss bass a lot. Picking the weeds sucks. It's hard, but it's good. <laughs> Imagine doing it in heels. <laughs> <laughs> Big ass weed. It's like there's like so only long. a dozen weeds back here, but they're all yeah. trees. <laughs> they're all 40 feet long. Fucking dandelions looking like Secret of the Ooze shit out here. <laughs> you know Ooh. that? You know in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 when they find the ooze on the hill and the guy's got the big ass and he yes. snaps the stalk? <laughs> That's what the fuck is happening here. It is. <laughs> Bast is gonna actually come back to life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, it's <laughs> to these weeds. <laughs> I'm blowing all the mosquitoes at you that are coming at me. You're blowing them at me? Yeah, well, they're landing on my oh, fingers. I'm blowing at my face! It's gone, it's gone. I saw it. Oh my away. god. <laughs> <laughs> it's stuck in your beard. Who was he? Yeah. He should bring his headstone in in the winter time. Yeah? Yeah. Like, leave these bricks here so at least you remember where he is, but you should keep it nice. It's just, gonna get, it's just gonna get totaled in the winter time. Is it? It's gonna be buried the whole time. Yeah. And then it's gonna get all dirty. Hey? Eh? Oh, oh, I think I broke his little leg. Oh, no! Let me see. Did you hurt him? Um, no, I, I think he's, he's okay. gonna be all right. Don't let him jump on me, okay? He's really <laughs> cute, but... I got his legs. He's uh, fine. He's <laughs> cute. Don't look up. I'm backing up now. No, it's fine. Look, I'm go. <laughs> you swear to God? Yeah. Because I'll be mad. Well, I'll let him hang out with bass, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> um, I'll put you over in this corner, little buddy. <laughs> I just want to get this thing down a little bit. Don't own a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> I 
You're your own hoe. Yeah, I'm a hoe! <laughs> It's way better than it was. <laughs> Much better. You got a lot of the weeds out of the way, didn't I, Glenn? Mm-hmm. And we met a frog friend. And we made a new friend. So you think I should bring in the thing in the winter time? Yeah. At least just put it under the carport, maybe. You don't have to bring it in, but just, just keep not it. Just leave it in the snow. Yes. It's not very even right now, is it? No. Heavy also. <laughs> Where's the frog? <laughs> I don't know, but there's a huge spider. Oh, fuck off. No, it's all slugs and spiders. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Maybe I'll take time to come out on the weekend and even it out. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Well. How's that good? Yeah, it's good. Poor Bast. He was an awesome cat. He always laid with me, mm -hmm. and he never shut up. Nope. Always wanted to be on your lap, clawing your fucking pants. Oh, I hate. <laughs> I love the cat, but I yeah, hated he that. Was a good, and he had fat cheeks, so it was probably yeah. The best I, part. And a big ass head, right? Yes. <laughs> he All right, I love bass very much. I miss you, buddy. But there's a lot of fucking mosquitoes out there. <laughs> okay, I love you, bud. I'll come and clean up the rest of this mess on the weekend. Okay? You got anything to say nice about bass? I miss him too, big time. I'm gonna go cry now. I'm gonna go cry now. I think that's the last of the footage for the vlog. So thanks for watching this episode of the vlog. Put out another one next week. I love you guys. Peace. Peace? Peace.